so this is the view that I get to wake up to every single morning which I think is pretty spectacular and I'm just having my morning tea out of my hairstylist mug having some green tea let me read what it says too because I think it's really cute Hairstylist, you do more than style hair. Your friendly chat, your caring and attention, as well as your talent contribute to the well-being of others. Thank you. I think that's so cute. Anyways, you're going to follow me around today. We're going to go down to the market, and I'm also having a dinner party tonight. So my table is all set for this evening's dinner party. Um, my mom and dad won't be here for Mother's Day, so... I am throwing a dinner party tonight for her since she won't be here next weekend and I also invited my brother-in-law and my sister and of course Tyler will be here and we're gonna have pasta and drink wine and it's gonna be glorious. I just picked these flowers from our property here and I should have ironed the tablecloth it looks like but oh well. Anyways, I better go get ready. Cinco de Mayo! Achicha! Achicha! Teddy, Teddy, are you excited for Cinco de Mayo? Oh, oh, he just hit his head! <laughs> oh. So we are at the farmer's market, downtown Duncan here, and we got some lunch. I got some potato fritters, salmon kebab, and beets, roasted beets with balsamic and brown sugar. What did you get? Chicken quesadilla. Salmon kebab and mac and cheese with chipotle. And ham. Big time. And Teddy didn't get anything. Teddy gets <laughs> the scraps, don't get that. And we also got some hey. bread okay. and what else did we get? Oh, we got three things of pesto for tonight's dinner. Yum, 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 yum. Then we're gonna go out to Couch and Bay. This is where we had lunch and it was so delicious. There is my salon right there behind those two tents. Studio One. We just got some starter plants from Dinter's Nursery for the garden. We got some potatoes and some peppers, tomatoes. Um, what else we got in there? Dill, basil, parsley. Yay for growing your own vegetables. Just got some bread down at Couch and Bay at True Grain. We have excellent bread. And then we went and got some cheese from Hillary's for tonight's festivities. Now at the old farm market, about to get some vegetables and some fruit. Looking for Tyler? We are looking for a 120 volt, 20 amp male and female plug-in. I have no idea what that is. So I'm not going to be able to help you out, okay? Sure. Waiting in the truck while Tyler's in the hardware store because I only can spend about five minutes in there before I feel like my brain is turning to mush. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I'm wearing today. I just have on this blue, light blue jean jacket that I got from Old Navy and I have this green pashmina that has flecks of gold in it wrapped around because it is a little bit chilly. The wind is cold. I have my Mille Bianco handbag. You've seen like all of my outfits of the day. And I'm just wearing a black, long black maxi dress and Sam Edelman gladiator sandals. and some oversized sunglasses and a few random bracelets. My uh, Pandora, just a gold chain uh, tennis bracelet. And this was my grandma's gold watch. We're opening some champagne because we're celebrating Mother's Day early. Let's, let me look at the label. Oh, anyways, my sister's gonna be opening it here. It just came out of the oven. 
This is my favorite noise in the entire world. Let's turn the bottle, not the cork. Opa! Is this it we're drinking? What's it, it called? It's a rhubarb. This is rhubarb from your garden. And you stew it. Then you take, you reserve the juice. Mm. And then you reduce it by half. And you add a tablespoon to a flute and add champagne or sparkling white from Australia. Glorious. And this is called Rhubarb Fool. And, and what is it exactly, Kathy? It's organic whipped cream. Or you could eat that. Stewed rhubarb from your garden. Yep. And then you reserve the juice. Yep. You puree. That's a lot, actually. Simply it's lovely, really simply lovely. Sorry. And it's organic with cream. Oh, show me yeah. more, show you me more. The <laughs> yeah. And then you reduce the juice by half mm -hmm. and use that as a topping. Sounds good. And those are papiers from Couch and Bay. Where's my Over there. Oh, yeah. That's mine. There you go, bud. Where's yours right here? And there, my, and my, my. Mom, okay. yes. say hello to the camera. Hello. It's Mother's Day. Yes, it is. How's the uh, rosé champagne? It's lovely, thank you very much. Why are you talking with an accent? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. What <laughs> you got there? Some lilacs? Mmm. I don't think they smell quite yet till they open, but they'll smell nice tomorrow. And this is from the property, yeah? Yeah. Very nice. Just wanted to show you guys what I was wearing tonight for my dinner party. I got this from H&M last week, I suppose. Um, it's a baby doll style dress. It has a white paneling. Here as you can see, and it basically all falls from the bust. My dad commented and said that he thought that something a pregnant person should wear, so that was really awesome. You know, I was like, first of all, not taking fashion advice from my dad, ever. And uh, second of all, really. Uh, anyways, and I just paired it with some black tights, and I'm not wearing any shoes, because it's my house. And anyways, this fabric is so very soft and silky and it really does fall straight from the bust, which is like I can eat an entire turkey and you will never know. You'll never know. Okay, so that was a day in the life of Slick Scissors, a.k.a. Jen Glenn. Say it. Jen Glenn. Jen Glenn. Um, uh, we had a very eventful day, which usually it's not this eventful. I think Tyler had a spectacular time. It was a really good day. And um, thank you all for tuning in. I'll see you in my next video, as I say in most of my videos. I love y'all, and please be kind to one another. Say it, Tyler. Please be kind to one another. Have a magical evening. No, that's not what I say. That's not what I say. Please be kind to one another. Please be kind to one another. I didn't like that ending very much. I didn't like that ending. It seemed like I was very pushy and bossy. <laughs> right? Why do you have to wrap it up like this anyway? I don't want to.